Hello friends, today we are going to learn LHLD instruction of 8085 microprocessor. Here in LHLD, L stands for load, HL is our HL pair and D stands for direct. direct. So we will read this load HL pair direct from address, load HL pair direct from address. So what happens in this instruction? Let's take example. Suppose instruction is written LHLD 2055H. 2055H. Now we need to understand this 2055 is a address, memory address. So we have stack. What is stack? Stack is a vertical memory. Stack is vertical memory. Okay, the lowest possible address of stack is FFFFH and highest value is 0000. So, somewhere in between that, we will get memory location 2055H and 2056H. So, what will happen because of this instruction? This instruction will transfer the content of 2055 to L register and content of next location means 2056 to H register. So if before execution 2055 is 32, then 32, 32 will get loaded inside the L register and after execution our L register will become 32H and if before execution 2056 is holding let's say 73 so that 73 will get loaded inside the h register and our h register will become 73 h so how we will explain format of this instruction format means what does our instruction does so format what happens exactly in this instruction the content of given address get copied inside the l register and the content of next address Next address means address plus 1 get copied to H register. So let's come back to our original instruction. So in, in LHLD 2055, original address is 2055 and next address is 2056. So 2055 is get loaded to L and the content of 2056 get loaded to H. Now, we will talk about addressing mode of this instruction. Now, what will be addressing mode of this instruction? In this instruction, LHLD is opcode and 2055 is operand. And this 2055 is address. Therefore, its addressing mode will become direct addressing mode. Whenever operand of any instruction is address, its addressing mode becomes direct addressing mode. Then we will talk about which group this instruction belongs to. Now this group instruction belongs to data transfer group because we are transferring data from memory addresses to registers. That's why group of this instruction is data transfer group. Then next thing that we will discuss is how many byte this instruction is of. Now this instruction is of 3 byte. LHLD will have its own opcode that will be first byte. 20 is second byte and 55 is third byte. How we can remember if four digit number is given in instruction, then simply we can say that it is a three byte instruction. So LHLD 2055 is a three byte instruction. And finally, we will talk about how many flags this instruction is going to affect. Now here, since we are transferring data inside the L and H register, we are not modifying the content of accumulator that's why flag will not get affected in general we may say that data transfer group instruction doesn't affect the fact that's why because of lhld 2055 instruction none of the flag will get affected let's take one more example suppose instruction is lhld 9093h so what will happen, we will assume a vertical memory, in it 
two consecutive memory location we will check 9093H and 9094H. Then its content, whatever it may be, let's say 11H, will get copied inside the L register. And suppose its content is 22H, will get copied inside the H register. So after execution, L will become 11H and H register will become 22H. So this is job of LHLD. LHLD stands for Load HL Pair Direct. Thank you.